In this video, I will show you how to edit my PowerPoint quiz template. It's very easy to edit template, offers a lot of creative freedom and will surprise your audience. First, you want to download the quiz template file from the Dropbox folder in the description. On screen right now are the timestamps in this video. You want to use these timestamps to skip to a part you have a question about. In the default PowerPoint presentation, the background is a transparent picture with a blue background. To change the color, go to Design in the Ribbon and click on Format Background. To change the picture, right click on an existing picture and click on Change Picture. Here, you insert your picture. After you've inserted your picture, click on the picture, go to Picture Format in the Ribbon and click on Transparency. You want to change the transparency to 65% and stretch your picture to the size of the slide. You will have to do this for every slide. If you want to change the background, it's important to do this as early as possible in the editing process. To edit the first slide, you can just click on the text and change it. You can also add pictures by going to insert in the ribbon and clicking on pictures. And here you can select the picture you want. To edit the second slide, you click on the text to change it. If you want to add another line of text, copy the last line of text and change it. Go to animations in the ribbon and open up the animation pane. You want to drag the last animation in the list, which is the animation that you've just created by copying the text box under the other text boxes. You can check on screen if you're doing it right. To edit the question time, you want to click on the blue timer bar and go to animations in the ribbon. All the way to the right, you will see duration. And this is the duration that the question lasts. The default is 30 seconds, but you can change it to however you like. This only changes the timer on the slide that you're editing. To edit the question plus picture, moving flags and question plus four pictures slides, simply click on the text to edit it. To edit the picture, right click on the picture and click on change picture. And here you can insert your new picture and all the animations will remain. To edit the music question, you want to delete the speaker icon. Go to insert in a ribbon and click on audio. And here you can select your own audio track. You want to click on the new speaker icon and go to playback in the ribbon you want to fade the music one second in and out. You also want to trim the audio to be the same size as your timer. If you want to play the whole song, you can adjust the timing on the blue bar animation. And after you've trimmed your audio, you want to go to animations in the ribbon and open up the animation pane. Right click on the audio animation and click on start with previous. To edit the video question, you first want to delete the video on your screen. You then go to insert in the ribbon and click on video and here you can insert your video. If you don't know how to insert a video into PowerPoint, you can check the video in the iCard in the right up corner. And after you've added your video, you want to click on it and go to animations in the ribbon. You want to click on add animation and add an appear animation to it. You then want to open up the animation pane and you want to right click on the fade in animation and click on start with previous. You want to right click the play video animation as well and click on start with previous as well. And there you have it. I hope this video helped. Consider subscribing and I will see you next time.